the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who has taught the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us that by the gift of the same Spirit we may be always truly wise and ever rejoice in His consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Queen, conceive without sin. Pray for us. Praise be to Lord Jesus Christ, now and forever. Dear friends, uh, look with me in Acts of the Apostles, chapter 21, verse 13. Then Paul answered, What are you doing, weeping and breaking my heart? For I am ready not only to be bound, but even to die in Jerusalem for the name of the Lord Jesus. The context of this uh, Bible verse is that uh, there is a prediction by a person filled with the Holy Spirit who predicted that Paul would be bound in Jerusalem. And the church started crying and then St. Paul is telling, what are you doing? Um, and he is ex explaining further uh, the interpretation that I am even ready to die for the Lord. And what struck me in this Bible verse is that um, St. Paul and the other church members, uh, their only mission, purpose uh, in life uh, is to make the name of Jesus known to others, uh, to spread the love of Jesus, uh, to spread the gospel and uh, nothing else mattered, whether you are chained, whether you are bound, whether you die, everything is for Jesus, everything for the glory of Jesus. And uh, as a priest and even when I see uh, people, uh, we lack uh, that zeal for the Lord, that we don't have the kingdom as a priority. Something else occupies our mind. Uh, sometimes even as a priest, uh, it's more about um, the works to be done uh, and the ministry. And one thing I've known in the ministry, uh, in my experience, is that uh, the important thing in ministry uh, is not ministry but Jesus, spending time with Jesus, making his name known. And uh, so let's pray that we get this zeal, that uh, everything of our heart and our mind occupies uh, the name of Jesus and we want to make it known to others. And we are ready to face anything for the mighty, glorious name of Jesus. May this help, word of God help you to uh, have more zeal for his house, for his kingdom, and the fire burning in you will warm up the hearts of many to come to Christ. The Lord be with you, with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.